Uh, just to please stay weather aware, uh, we use a bunch of different tools in our toolbox to warn the public, uh, whether it be social media, TV, radio, our Ping 4 Alerts app, the outdoor warning sirens, of course, and uh, also NOAA weather radios. What kind of resources do you guys have that you're going to be deploying today, and what type of, uh, I guess, message do you want to say to your staff? What are you guys planning to do today? Uh, just to be prepared, we, uh, we actually send someone of our staff to uh, the National Weather Service. We maintain an open line uh, so that we can communicate. We hear kind of what they're talking about. We communicate from our spotters back to them and kind of let them know what we're seeing. It's a, it's a great partnership with them. Talk about the response side of things. We've talked a lot about preparation. What happens when you do have an incident and how do you begin that process of, of responding? Uh, well, if we have significant weather, we have uh, we activate what's called a, a weather watch. So we already have those personnel in place. We we just proactively go from an, the, our activation to uh, recovery operation. We start working the issues. Uh, we have key stakeholders from all the different departments and organizations that are in our uh, area, and we just start working the problems. We find out uh, who needs help, where, uh, and uh, go from there.